I've been um, using MRI, magnetic resonance imaging, and, and we have been uh, modifying uh, a, a sequence that is, has been used for decades, which is called uh, DCE, dynamic contrast and MRI. So we inject a contrast agent intravenously to a human patient or an animal, and we can measure uh, uh, that contrast agent into the bloodstream and how much of that contrast can leak into the brain. So that's not something, we are, we are not talking about huge blood-brain barrier leakage uh, like we see in stroke or, or uh, multiple sclerosis. When we talk about dementia, it's very subtle leakage, so very cr chronic leakage. Uh, so we are able now to use this advanced technique uh, in both animal and humans to, to really understand where do we see this leakage of the blood-brain barrier and how this is linked to uh, neurodegeneration and cognitive functions. So what we have been showing recently is we, uh, we looked at uh, people having the ApoE4 genotype. So ApoE4 is apolipoprotein E4. Uh, this is the major genetic, genetic risk factor for Alzheimer's disease. And when we stratify those people that do carry this ApoE4 gene versus people who don't, we see with this DCMRI technique that uh, there is some uh, region of the brain that starts to be uh, a bit more leaky, I would say, more contrast agent extravasation. And uh, one region very important is the hippocampus, the medial temporal lobe, so the hippocampus and the parahippocampal gyrus, that starts to leak very early in those people. And we can detect that with MRI uh, years before they, they start to decline cognitively. So we have this technique and we found that having this ApoE4 gene leads to blood-brain barrier dysfunction, which is something that we can detect very early on, which will also, uh, we are working on uh, a prediction value. So this might predict future cognitive decline when we see leakage in the brain.